everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new subscribers and all of my subscribers i'm so thankful for you all please stay tuned to the end of the video i have a special announcement so i'm going to use my green grass yarn here that's been doubled up i did call it lime green but it's actually a grass green so i'm going to use that and a 4.5 millimeter hook you can use any size hook or yarn that you want this stitch is great for a blanket stitch and it is a one row repeat so let's go and we're going to make multiples of four so you make your desired number of chains of four and then you add three so i'm going to make 16 chains here and i'm going to speed it up so we can get through it to the end Okay, so I have my 16 chains here, and I'm going to add three. One, two, three. Now we're going to double crochet in the fifth chain from the hook. Remember, the loop on your hook does not count as a stitch. Go ahead and skip four chains, one, two, three, four, and then go into the fifth one with two double crochets. That's one, this is two, and now chain one, and add another two double crochets to that same stitch. Now normally I would add a single row foundation, but I'm not going to do that here because I want you to see what that looks like when you don't add a foundation row at the bottom first before you begin your stitch. So once you've made those last two double crochets, go ahead and skip three chains. And then go into your fourth chain with that two double crochet. Here's one. Here's two. And then chain one. And then back into the stitch again with two more double crochets. So basically you're making like a double, double V stitch into one stitch. So once you've had those there, we're going to skip another three. And then do your iris stitch again. So I'm going to continue repeating this all the way across. Remember, you're going to skip three chains, make two double crochets chain one and then another double another two double crochets into the same stitch and that's your iris stitch i'm going to keep going and then i'm going to meet you at the end and we'll move on to row two if you feel confident you can go ahead and stop the video and continue on but i always like to go on to the second row so that we make sure we know what we're doing here so i'm going to continue on and i'll meet you at the end of the row Okay, so now we're at the end of the row and you should have three stitches left, three chains left. Go into that last stitch with a double crochet. And remember your chains count as a double crochet each on each side. Those chains count as a double crochet. So that's what it's looking like so far. And again, you can start off with a single crochet row if you want to. But now we're going to make our way back over. So you just chain three. Now I would either do a double crochet stack or you can chain three. That's up to you. Now just go right into the middle of the V stitch, the double V stitch, double V stitch from the previous row. That's what the front looks like. And this is what the back looks like. So they're both exactly the same. You can switch your garment or whatever you're making around either way. So now for your row two, just go right into the middle of that double V stitch from the previous row. Now you see I chain three. You do not chain three. It is a chain one. I don't know why I chain three. I think it's because when I make V stitches, I normally chain at least two or three, but it's only a chain one. So just keep repeating in between each of those iris stitches. And I'm going to meet you at the end and show you what to do from there.
Oh yeah, and by the way, when you're going in between each of your iris stitches, do not chain. So you make your first iris stitch and just go right over to the next stitch without chaining. Okay, so now I've made my stitches and I'm at the end. Now remember, do not chain. Just go right over into that last chain, into that chain from the previous row. And you go right into that top chain and make a double crochet. And that's how you make your iris stitch. Very, very easy. I promise you it was a coincidence that I'm using green for this <laughs> iris stitch. But when I come back, I'll have a bigger swatch. So this is what the bigger swatch looks like. And it's such a pretty stitch. It's a really great blanket stitch. But like I always say, if you're a long time subscriber, use it for whatever you want to as long as it is, as long as it's pretty. So this is really nice. It looks cute on either side there. To me, as far as I'm concerned, there is no front or back. It's completely up to you which side you want to use because they're all exactly the very same. And I wanted to make a special, special announcement. I want to thank you guys for allowing me to become monetized. I am in my first step and I'm excited because now I'll be able to offer you special offers for my members, things that I will not offer for my non-members. So go ahead and join me. It's just buying me a skein of yarn, which I think is $1.99. So go ahead and join me in my memberships and great, uh, earn great prizes and free yarn and free crochet hooks. So I hope to see you there and also exclusive videos for my members only. So I'll see you there. Bye-bye.